Yes, you've been clickbaited, but stick with me because it's worth it. I've got a gem of a fragrance and there's a giveaway at the end as well. So what more do you want? Where to you, Marla? My name's Steve, this channel is Frags to Riches, and thank you for tuning in. Now I'm gonna try not to make this video overly long. I wanna to get to the point and not waffle too much, so let's crack on. The fragrance I wanna talk about today is a gem of a fragrance. It's a great find. Anybody that follows the channel, and particularly if you've watched the last couple of videos, you'll probably know what it is already. It's a got a horribly tacky bottle, but it's got some great juice inside. It's from the House of Spirit of Kings, and the fragrance is Arrakis. So as I said, the bottle is rather gaudy and uh, unattractive, but that said, it's not actually that cheap because it is a solid metal bottle. Uh, the gem on top is a little bit um, kind of wanting to be desired. It's a bit kind of plasticky, obviously not a real gem or jewel. But yeah, so this bad boy offers a great value for money when you compare it to something that it is very similar to. Now, I don't know if it's actually cloning the fragrance. I suspect it probably is. I don't know if they market themselves as a clone house as such, or if they've just taken strong inspiration, but it's even got the same note breakdown. Um, the fragrance I'm sort of comparing it to is of course, Bulgari's Le Gem Tiger. Le Gem Tiger retails at 255 pounds for 100 mil, where Arrakis from Spirit of Kings retails for 110 pounds for 100 mil. Now, granted, Le Gem Tiger has got an infinitely nicer, posher bottle, so, and for some people, that will make a difference. Um, as I say, this is actually a metal bottle, but it's just the kind of top that's a bit kind of uh, tacky, especially with this plasticky kind of jewel on the top. Um, but neither of the two comp fragrances are complicated in the slightest. They've got the same note breakdown, and they both offer a very clean, safe, very versatile, uh, compliment getting DNA. It's They've both got grapefruit at the top, woody notes, and ambroxin, that is it. It is not complicated. So if you're looking for some weird, wonderful, kind of unique, random kind of niche or indie, this is not it. This is a very safe DNA that I literally cannot think of an occasion where this would not work. I can't think of a temperature, a climate, a place, um, a scenario, Literally, I can't think of one. I'm not even joking when I say that. Um, this is a hella versatile fragrance. So again, when you consider that, some people might think Le Gem Tiger is worth it, but you're getting this, basically the same fragrance with this for more than half the price. So in that note, it's, this has got to be a winner, isn't it? So how close is this to Le Gem Tiger then? Now, I would say pretty damn close. If you just smell this on its own, when I first smelt it, I was like, yeah, that's, they smell the same. It was only when I wore them side by side. Now I emphasize I've worn this for a lot of days since I've got this, pretty much every day. So five, six days straight, I think I've worn this. Um, but for one or two of those days, I did wear them side by side. So I wore uh, Arrakis on one arm and the Gem Tiger on the other to do a comparison of how they smell and how they perform. Now they do have the same note breakdown and they smell very similar, but you can tell the difference side by side. Basically, it's all about balancing those three kind of notes or chords. Um, the grapefruit is a lot more prominent in this fragrance compared to the Gem Tiger. Uh, in the Gem Tiger, I would say the grapefruit is dialed down a little bit and the woody notes and the ambroxin is a little bit amped up. But this goes the other way. I would say this is uh, the grapefruit is is amped up a little bit and the woody notes and ambroxin are a little bit dialed down. So what that means in reality is this is a much kind of fruitier, um, sort of, I guess citrusy, a more citrusy slash fruitier version than the Gem Tiger, right? Comparing the two, I think they both could be unisex, but the Gem Tiger, because the woody notes and ambroxin is a little bit more amped, where this is a bit more fruity, I would say the Gem Tiger is more masculine, but I think they could both easily be uh, unisex. Um, so yeah, smell-wise, they're very similar. If I had to pick which one I prefer to smell, I'm actually picking this. So what you're now desperate to know is does it perform the same, if not better, than the Gem Tiger? You're thinking it won't. And you know what? It lasts as long, if not longer, than Tiger on my skin. So I wore them side by side. Um, I would say they both easily lasted about seven to eight hours comfortably on my skin. Now, if you go and watch my Tiger video, um, 
I sort of explained that it's quite difficult to judge the performance of this type of fragrance because it's the sort of fragrance that's, they're both kind of soft projection, but I'll kind of get onto that in a minute. But there is the sort of kind of soft, airy, kind of clean fragrance that it's, it's not a big projector, it doesn't stand out, so you kind of get wafts of it. But when you actually, so it's hard to kind of judge the performance with regards to longevity. There was times where I thought I can't smell it anymore, but then the wife could, or then I'd just catch a waft of it. So it did, it's hard to kind of pinpoint it, but kind of doing a skin smell throughout the day, I could still smell both of them at the sort of eight hour mark, eight or nine hour. And I would say this was maybe a little bit more noticeable than the Tiger, but they were pretty similar on the longevity side of things. The only slight disappointment or kind of gripe that I have with this fragrance is the projection isn't brilliant. Now I'm not saying it's bad, but what you need to do if you're thinking about getting this is manage your expectations because this is not a Sauvage-esque fragrance where you're gonna walk into a room and people are gonna notice you straight away or they're gonna notice you for meters away. This does not project like that at all. You're not kind of, perhaps if you walk past somebody, they might catch your sillage, but it is not a beast projector. And in some ways that's kind of nice. It kind of works and adds to that versatility. And as I said, I can't think of a, a situation where this wouldn't be appropriate because you're never gonna choke anybody out because it's just not a beast projector. Personally, I would like it to project a bit more. It does, in the first hour, it's quite noticeable. It, but it's still not a beast projector. Now, I kind of started noticing that after a few days. I kind of, when I wear it, basically what you get is a kind of small scent bubble kind of around you. So when I was kind of in my home office and was working, particularly when it's hot and I had the fan on, I kept getting regular wafts of it throughout the, those sort of several hours that it was on. But I noticed I struggled more when I was kind of going out and about walking. I was, we kind of visited some family and had a barbecue in the garden, kind of, you know, social distanced and all that jazz. Um, and I, I was not really noticing it too much in the heat and all the activity. So I was a little bit disappointed in that regard. But as I say, when it was more of a kind of controlled environment, I could kind of smell it a lot more and notice it throughout the day. But it basically wears very close. Now, because I was kind of feeling like the projection wasn't there, I tested this one of the days. The day we went to the barbecue, um, I sprayed a shitload of this on bef not long before I got in the car with the wife. Um, I've sprayed a lot of sprays, several around my neck. I did my arms, I think I did my hair. Um, and we got in the car and um, about 20, 25 minutes later, I got in the car with her. As we were kind of driving off, I said, can you smell me? Obviously she's sitting next to me kind of in the car. And she kind of went, hmm, not really, not over above the new car smell, humble brag. So this just doesn't project very strongly, but it is there. It's definitely there when you smell it on your skin. I would say it's, it's a lot more noticeable in that first hour, but still not projecting across a car. But I'm sure if my wife kind of got in, or if we was you know, getting a bit closer, um, she would have noticed it, or if I was moving around her, she would have sort of caught whiffs of it. Um, but she did say the same thing, basically, about Tiger. Um, again, if you go and watch the video, she's pretty much said the same thing, which is why I wanted to kind of test it. She said when she lent in, she I think she did notice Tiger a little bit more. I think Tiger does project a little bit more than this, in particularly in the first hour. Um, but similar sort of situation, another time when I wore Tiger and I walked downstairs, she then noticed it quite clearly, but she couldn't notice it in the car. So again, the performance is kind of hard to judge on this fragrance. But yeah, this does last and it is there because I can smell it on my skin, but it just doesn't project and that is a bit disappointing. That said, it does add to its versatility because as I say, you can just wear this in any situation. It's perfectly safe in an office because you're never gonna choke anybody out and it's a lovely smell. Um, but to be more specific, I think this would work really well if you had like a meeting with a customer or if you was doing training with a colleague or quite often, you know, when we're not in lockdown, uh, my, the sales team that I'm in, we have regular sales team meetings and you know, where we're all sitting around a sort of big table and there's presentations, etc. And at those meetings, I always kind of think about what I want to wear because obviously I want to be noticed and maybe pick up a compliment would be nice. But I'm always conscious that not to go too heavy in case the people sitting next to me, if I see them kind of shuffling their chairs a little bit further away from me, I know I'm sort of choking them out and I'm a bit conscious of that. But this would be ideal. You're never going to choke anybody out in that sense. But it, it will get noticed, but it's probably better if you are kind of getting a little bit even more closer and personal with somebody. Because it is a lovely kind of scent, but yeah, it's just, a, I just would like it to project a little bit more. So after all that, I've realised I've not actually told you what it 
smells like, what you're going to get from this fragrance. Now, obviously I've compared it to Tiger, and you can go and watch my Tiger uh, video and I'm probably going to say a lot of the similar things I said about that. So it's got grapefruit at the top and that grapefruit is, as I said earlier, it's fruitier than it is in Tiger, and it's um, more citrusy. I notice if I smell it on skin in the first sort of 20, 30 minutes, it's the uh, grapefruit is a lot more kind of tart slash zingy. I wouldn't say it's a sharp fragrance or a sharp accord, but it is kind of a lot more citrusy and kind of zingy on skin where in the sillage, in that sort of scent bubble that I've mentioned earlier, it doesn't kind of come across as that kind of sharp or zingy. It's just a lot more prominent, uh, the grapefruit, especially compared to Tiger. It then kind of transitions into the, the grapefruit remains pretty much throughout and it's a lot more prominent. Um, and then it transitions into this kind of woody and broxian kind of base. Now it is not a particularly woody fragrance. It's not a real strong woody fragrance. It's a very fresh, clean, light kind of fragrance that's very versatile. So the wood is more, blends very nicely with the Ambroxin to come across as more of like an amber wood, sort of maybe a sandalwood type. It's very smooth, you know, it's not particularly kind of resinous or rich or it's obviously not oody or anything like that. So it's a very kind of soft, um, smooth kind of uh, woody dry down, well subtly woody but very much led by that sort of fresh grapefruit. And it's got a slight kind of sweetness to it, um, again, coming from the more prominent grapefruit. So it's slightly sweeter, I would say, than Tiger. The Tiger is a little bit more woody and a little bit more masculine. So would I recommend this fragrance? Um, yeah, totally, totally. I would totally recommend this fragrance. Um, I think the only my only concern is, does the fact that this, to me, smells better than Tiger um, at more than half the price, is that what's making me a, this a fragrance more repealing? It's like you, you feel like you're getting a better deal, or you're beating the system. And there's always a part of me that I, I love to beat the system. So I think that does make this fragrance better for me, not gonna lie. So trying to judge this fragrance in its own right, it is super smooth, it smells really nice. So for 110 pounds, it's a bargain. Now what I would advise is shop around. I searched, managed to find a 10% off code. So I got it for less than 100 pounds. Um, again, for 100 ml of EDP, that is good especially when you're comparing to the likes of sort of, you know, more expensive um, designers like Chanel, like Bleu de Chanel, etc. Um, so yeah, I would totally recommend this fragrance, but do manage your expectations. This is not complicated. It's not some weird, wonderful niche. It is in the same realm of like Bleu de Chanel, more like the EDT, maybe a bit of the EDP, but it's not, you know, even as sort of incense or anything like as, as the EDP of that. So it's that sort of fragrance. So if you're looking for a clean, fresh, very, very, very versatile fragrance. Probably the most versatile fragrance I've I've got in my collection by far. Um, this is it. This is it. But this is not a really sexy date night panty dropper. You could wear it on a date because it smells great, but it's not that sort of fragrance. So it's not this really sexy fragrance. It is a very clean, versatile, everyday signature scent that smells great. So if you're looking for a Bleu de Chanel like alternative, or if you're looking to save some money and you love Tiger, then definitely 100% recommend this. But just manage your expectations. Don't expect something weird, wonderful, complicated, and also manage your expectations on the projection because this, as I say, is a bit soft on the projection, which is a bit disappointing. It does just give you a bubble. It's not gonna fill a room. It's not gonna get noticed from meters away. That's the only disappointment because it smells so good, I would like people to notice it. But yeah, great versatile fragrance, but offers great value for money. Right, it's giveaway time. To celebrate reaching 3,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel, I wanna give away three fragrances, one for every thousand. So thank you for everybody that has subscribed. I love you for doing so. It means a lot to me. I, you know, I'm really chuffed for hitting 3,000. I wanna keep growing, but if I stay at 3,000, I won't be upset with that because I think it's a really good number and I do really appreciate each and every one of you. So I'm gonna give away three different fragrances. They're all boxed for retail presentation. Um, so yeah, you've got good odds. The first one I'm gonna give away is Zara's 11.0. This was in a recent Zara haul fragrance video that I did and it just kind of underwhelmed me. It smells perfectly nice actually, perfectly clean. Um, and I thought about wearing it just as a sort of dumb reach daily drive to work, but I've got plenty of fragrances. I've got more than I need. So this just won't get worn. So I'd rather kind of share this with a subscriber who might get some wares out of it. And then I also wanna give away two fragrances from the House of Rosa Salas, again, 
These are full retail presentation. So Rosa Salas is a clone house. They do also make original creations, so do check them out. There's an affiliate link down below. Uh, one of them is Tom Ford's, uh, it's their take on Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, which is called Mon Cherie. Smells really good. I personally think it smells better on a woman, doesn't really work on my skin. And unfortunately, my wife doesn't really like the marzipan type of cord that you get in there uh, because it does smell like cherry bake or tart. A uh, sexy cherry bag or tart. A cherry bag or tart that's maybe wearing lingerie. That sort of vibe. And the other one is one of my favorite fragrances of all time. It's uh, Rose Sadis' take on Noir Extreme from Tom Ford. It's called Reyes or Reyes uh, Noir. It's a great fragrance and I'd happily keep it, but I've got the original from Tom Ford that my wife bought me for my birthday, so I don't need it and I'd rather share it with some subscribers. So to win, all you've got to do is comment down below. Just comment whatever you like. Can be funny, can be not. Just comment below and I'll do a random comment pecker. The first uh, person picked will get um, the Zara fragrance. The second person picked will get the, uh, the version of uh, lost cherry and the third person will get noir extreme that's what i'm gonna do that's the order so don't complain get what you're given so that's it comment below and you've got a good chance of winning a free fragrance thanks again for watching i do really appreciate it and thank you to all 3,000 of you that have subscribed i really appreciate it um, i love each and every one of you apart from the sort of two or three people that always click dislike on every single video i love you a little bit less but you know you're still just sharing your opinions so that's cool Thanks again, and if you haven't done so, do subscribe, and I will see you for the next video. Take care, much love.